Greetings to you all ladies and gentlemen, this is Luandile here, the leader and the instructor of my microscope. There's something I want to point out before we even do anything, you guys. You see, up to this point, we haven't been working on any interesting, if you ask me, any interesting solo problems, I mean. Everything we've been working on is pretty straightforward, it's easy stuff, so... You might see this uh, channel is a, is something that is a bit repetitive. That is to say, you might think uh, some of the exercises are a bit repetitive. But what I strongly suggest you do, what I'm asking you to do, is to simply wait and see what will happen when you get on to interesting chapters. Because right now, there isn't much we can play around with. We haven't learned much. So that, of course, is going to have an impact on our solution. But once we get on to interesting stuff, what if once we start working on challenging problems, that's when you will see the value of this tutorial. So again, with that out of the way, now we got to jump on to what we came here for, which is to simply solve question 2.1 this one right here in case you haven't read the question itself uh, you just do so pause the video do so and then you get back to me because right now we're doing we're giving a solution so so let's see what student C decided to do okay student C knows knows the importance importance of having descriptive variables okay that that's pretty much it with student C so what we are gonna have right here is we simply gonna have a command which will tell us which will simply say Create a scanner to read user input and we simply do so. Again, you can put anything here, you guys. It's just that I like putting something descriptive. I just go read. Um, let's go to me, scanner. System dot out dot print. No, I need system dot in. We simply import a scanner. Make sure you close a scanner. Okay, and then. <coughs> We declare, we declare and read the length and the height, the length and the radius, I mean, so we do so simply by going radius a descriptive name not just red radius and then we simply call reader simply call reader dot next double we do one and the same thing for for length not just length but length rather oh look at this you guys we haven't yet prompt the user to enter The input prompt a user to enter a to enter radius and the length. So we simply go system dot out dot print. Let's see how they put it. 
Just a bit of it, it does on the end of the cylinder. We can see if we copy and paste this. Not a cylinder. Okay, with this out of the way, I simply go. Mm, I simply go double. I simply go double area equals to we also can do the method how we put radius and we put a 2 here this simply says radius squared or radius to the exponent of 2 up multiply that by net dot pi ok that's pretty much it for radius for area, I mean, now we work on, we better work with the volume. Volume will simply be area multiplied by, look at this you guys, we've got something like this, net dot multi. Oh, let's 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 just do it. Let's do it the simple way. Area dot multiply by what length? That's all. Okay. Now we'll simply. Display the output system dot out dot print bin let's simply copy and paste what it all they simply say. Oh actually we're not gonna be using print lin, we'll be using print app. So we have a print f the length is uh, the very first one has four numbers after a decimal point. So let's just go. We've been talking about print f for quite some time now from chapter one, and if you haven't watched my videos on chapter one i strongly suggest you do because right now i am not going to explain the printf function how it works and if you think we do need some clarification i strongly suggest you do a little bit of a research so i'm just gonna go percentage and three digits before a comma and i mean before it is small point and and simply go uh four digits after a decimal point and then and f and f it simply says it simply specifies our, our format in our case it's a floating point number so what we're simply going to say going to say area Consisting, oh, let's we gotta go to the next one. Once we do that, we just go backslash n because we wanna go to the next line. This area right here is gonna replace this whole thing, and then immediately after that, we go to the next line. So let's just go system dot out. Why can't I type system dot out dot print f? Let's put volume here. Volume. Volume. Why can I type the volume is the volume is let me look at this. The volume is simply 
let's put a percentage sign let's put a number such as we can go five this will also work and then need to update this more point and then put then put a format specifier this is pretty much it you guys let's see what we get Copy that, then you paste it here. So, should have said one and then instead of two, only one, one number after a decimal point. So, it's a real one. Eh? See, we good, you guys. But just because I only decided to put what they gave us here on the sample run that doesn't necessarily mean you should only try one input try to play around with this try to put different numbers and see what you get that's pretty much it you guys see you on the next tutorial which is exercise 2.2 i mean which is exercise 2.3 cheers you guys i'm gone